Welcome back to Tech After Dark. So after we plugged in our solid state hard drive or a T7 SSD Samsung drive, we can go over to Final Cut Pro. Make sure within Finder you have your Teos SSD T7. So we're just going to create a new folder called Tutorials. And this will be our new project file. So within Final Cut Pro, right click or File, New, Library. And we can name it something, Tutorials. And let's select Tutorials in our SSD T7 or any hard drive you have provided. So we click Tutorials, we save, and it creates a brand new Tutorials given on the left-hand side of the Final Cut Pro library. And within this, we can go and select media. So let's import some media here. You can really import anything. So I'm just going to go to my SSD. So I'm just going to select a 10 second footage here. So we're going to import selected. And we're going to add to the date and time and we're going to leave files in place. So we don't want to copy tutorials, so we don't want to double up in space. And we can leave everything else unless you want to fix audio problems or if you want to create optimized media or proxy media, which will already make automatically. Import selected and you can also drag and drop as well. So we've got the image there or the 10 second video. And within tutorials, we'll go to file, new project. And let's name this tutorials. Let's give the right parameters. Let's just make this 1080p at 60 FPS. Apple ProRes 422 and everything else looks great. So press OK. And within tutorials, there'll be a brand new project. And from here, you can drag your selected file here onto the timeline. So now we've got a demo video here. Punch into it a bit. Make it look nice. And it will start rendering and transcoding all of your footage. So it plays really nicely on the SSD. So just make sure you don't disconnect the SSD. You'll have to close Final Cut Pro and make sure you eject properly. But generally, you can expect the SSD to work very nicely. After it transcodes and optimizes media, it'll be very smooth. And to transfer, a project file. Let's go into my local storage here. Let's create a new project. Let's call it transfer. Okay, and within transfer, let's drag our selected footage. And we're just dragging between libraries, which is fine. Okay. So we have transfer at the bottom here. To transfer this file, you go to File, Move Project to Library, and then to Tutorials. And so you can move the whole project, and that will include the optimized media and proxy media. Move the project file to, to Library Tutorials. Press OK. And 
you got just transferred that over. So within my local one, there's no more transfer. And in my tutorials, there's two projects. So we got the original one and we got the transfer, which we didn't set the aspect ratio yet to know which one is which. So that's basically how you edit off of an SSD. You just plug it in, you create a new library on the SSD, and you can start dragging files in. But really, you can do anything here. And to make sure you run, don't run out of space on your local hard drive or your, even your SSD, you can select the project you'd like. You can go to File, Delete Generated Library Files, which is Proxy Media Data and Render Files, and Optimize Media. You can delete render files to make sure that you never run out of space. And you click OK. And that will wipe any of the cache within all of your project files. And just like that, all of the cache is gone. And it always tells you within here, there's a gigabyte of cache now, which is really healthy. I can go to my other SSD projects. And this library, there's actually 70 gigabytes. Now, I haven't touched these project files much. So to wipe that 70 gigabytes of library cache and render files, I can go to File, Delete Generated Library Files, Delete Render Files, All, and Delete Optimize Media and Proxy Media, and click OK. And you'll see this number here will go down to 200 megabytes. So we just saved 60 gigabytes right there. So that's how you clear cache, how to create a project on your SSD, and to transfer project files if you've already created it on a local hard drive, like your laptop. And you only have 512 gigabytes of hard drive space, you can transfer it over to the SSD and save some space. So that's how you transfer files and work off of a SSD. You will save space in the long run, and it's always worth it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.